Ahoy, landlubbers! It's me, your Valiant Captain Vasco, and welcome back to the Phoenix Solar System. God, I really gotta learn my space terminology one of these days. Uh, anyway, we came here after, in the last episode, we checked out the Hydra Solar Planet Collective, and, uh... Well, we didn't find Rex's family's armor, as we had set out to do, but we did find a, discre a discress signal? Ugh, just having one of those days, huh? Well, in any case, we're still looking for that armor, didn't find it in the last system, instead got ambushed by Geth, now they're dead, and we're here because there was not really much else of interest going on there. I think I'm gonna start with this unknown thingy do and scan it. Got a carbonaceous asteroid. So it's made of soda? I'd drink that. Actually, I wouldn't. It's probably full of space dust. Does that taste good? Well, let's find out. What is the asteroid made of? Mm, data disk. Yeah, it probably doesn't taste that good. Ahem. <laughs> During a scan of the Phoenix System asteroid field, you detected an odd energy reading that Tally determined was Quarian in nature. She led a recon team into the asteroid field, where she discovered an abandoned freighter. The team could not determine why the ship was there, but they did find a Prothean data disk on board. Yeah, but people have those just lying around in the back of their desk drawers. Alright, I think that I checked between episodes and didn't find a second one of those unknown things in this outer ring. Just want to make sure, don't want to miss anything. Yeah, I'm not finding it, but there's uh, a couple planets. Let's start with Vebinok. Well, this doesn't seem that exciting, but let's not Vebinok it till we've tried it. Heh, <laughs> heh. Oh, I'm so terrible. Uh, light metal surveyed. We got a deposit of cobalt. Uh, it still doesn't seem that exciting. Is cobalt even rare? Moving on down the line, I guess we could try Patashi. It sounds like some sort of Asian cuisine dish. Hmm, if we survey this planet, perhaps we'll get noodles. Nope, instead we got samarium. Man, I've really lost interest in this element surveying stuff. Maybe planet Silcelto. Man, that's a tongue twister. Try saying that like five times fast. Alright, Silcelto, 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 Silcelto. That wasn't actually as hard as I expected. Hmm, this planet has not alleviated my hopes that we would find something useful soon. Oh well, Tuntau's up next. What do you think? Will we find the droids we're looking for? Ah, apparently so. Looks kind of like a watery surface planet. Let's check some stats here. Uh, I don't care about any of this. Again, if I knew more about space like I pretend that I know, then perhaps this would mean something interesting to me that I could then relate to you. Instead, we're just gonna land and shoot some geth or something. For the record, we're just gonna go ahead and take the same team as last time. Obviously, we're gonna bring Rex along. I'm not sure if the game would give me another one of those weird reminders like it did with Liara back on Novaria, but I don't see any reason not to bring him. And uh, apparently, Tally is also someone I hadn't brought in a while, which I hadn't realized until the last episode. Alright, welcome to Planet Tuntau, which is, is sort of like vaguely... I mean, it's not even weather. It almost looks like the weather outside is static. Everything looks like just a little bit... Uh, I don't know, like obscured, I guess, but not by anything in particular. Anyway, if we take a look at the map, we will notice that yet again we've been dropped off right next to what appears to be our point of interest. This time around, since it seems like a quasi-major mission, I mean... The thing that we got from Garrus was over in like a, a hot second, was not expecting that. This time I'm going to go in with perhaps a more realistic expectation, but this time I'm definitely going to search the rest of the planet first. On to the anomaly! Huh. See, normally when they say anomaly, what they mean is pile of junk. This time around we do have a pile of junk, but what we also have is some sort of weird Stargate Pyramid, which is a lot more interesting than that other thing I said. Uh, also, we had to cross, like, the world's, like, tallest mountain to get here. Which is kind of hilarious, because I sort of just, like, flew off the top of it. 
Uh, let's try and recover this capsule near this mummy, near this pyramid. You know, I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. And yet, I soldier on. Recover the thing. Do the thing, 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 thing. And then we get... Ooh. Matriarch's writings. Aw, oh, man. That's not spoints and bits. Well, it's probably spoints, but I want stuff for some reason. Ahem. <laughs> You found one of Matriarch Dillanaga's writings on this body. It's possible the writings came from the nearby ruins. I mean, yeah, I, I would have figured that. Is there something over by this body as well? No. Oh, maybe something over here? Doubt it. I seriously doubt it. What is this thing, anyway? It's supposed to look like something? Maybe like a crashed ship or some such thing? Gonna go over to the pyramid, but I'm pretty sure I won't be able to do anything cool, which is actually super depressing. Because look at this. Look at it's like Stargate. I don't wanna be in Stargate. Stargate is an awesome movie. And parts of Stargate SG1 are an awesome TV show. And basically the entirety of Stargate Atlantis is a super awesome TV show. So if you haven't tried those out, those are my recommendations. Mm, yep. I'm on top of the world. But I got nothing to show for it. So, uh, let's check out that other stuff on the map. Who's got two alien companions and just found a deposit of mercury? This guy! I mean, Cardfight Shepard. Alright, so let's get ourselves some mercury. I don't know, there's definitely a lack of suspense to the whole hacking minigame with the rocks. Where it's sort of like... Well, I know what I'm gonna get, and from my experience, you can't actually fail these, so, like, what is the point of not just giving me the resource? Anyone else know what I'm talking about? Just seems weird to me. Anyway, we got some mercury, believe it or not. Uh, that wasn't the next thing on the radar. That was, in fact, uh, rubble? Debris. Eh, same thing. Why is it not? Why is it only sometimes telling me the name? That's weird. Uh, this game is slightly buggy. I mean, considering what it was trying to do for its time, I'm impressed, but I have definitely found more bugs than I expected. Anyway, off to that thing I just mentioned. This planet kind of really just looks like one giant sand trap in a game of, like, interstellar golf. Alright, let's salvage this probe and then get on with our business. Hopefully this is actually the place that I'm looking for and I'm not just, like, faffing around in the middle of nowhere for no reason. Uh, alright, what do we got? Grenade upgrade, whoop de doo Tungsten rounds, double whoop de doo Kinetic buffer. <sighs> alright, well we got some stuff. I think we're getting close to leveling up again. I think it, I think it was like 88,000 or something was our next. I think we're only like a couple hundred or so off. Uh, I was kind of skimming. Uh, let's see. Does the map reveal any new things? No? Alright, so I'm gonna set a course here, and if I come across anything, you'll be the first to know. Well, technically, I'll be the first, along with Shepard and his crew. So you'll be like the fifth to know. You know what I mean. I feel a little misled here. The map calls it a hidden structure, but clearly these guys know about it. And, uh, I feel like a Johnny come lately to the pirate sniper party. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go in on this on foot. This is probably a terrible idea, but I also have an increasingly infinite amount of brain superpowers. And, uh, barrier basically just lasts for days and makes me invulnerable. Uh, does Rex still have poison ammo that I gave him, like, a while ago? I think he does. It's kind of weird. So I guess that's going on. Hey, let's use a grenade! Boom! No, oh, I th did that too early. That's fine. I always have too many grenades anyway. Did that kill them? I don't know. No one seems to be alive now. And isn't that what really matters at the end of the day? Oh. Yeah, I feel like I sort of had that coming. Walking over to where I threw a grenade and don't think I actually detonated the second one. Thanks to whoever told me a million years ago that I can detonate them by pressing select again. Because that's a pretty helpful tool. Let's go inside now. And see, look at this. There's a whole bunch more people this inside. Is the place. My armor's here somewhere. Thanks for making that clear. I mean, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but without talking to him and knowing that the side quest was here, there's really no way to enter this building. I imagine that it is hidden in the sense that you can't go in it until you do that. So I didn't actually need you to tell me that. But thanks, I, I appreciate the clarification. But I mean, look at this. 
Look at all the people in here who know about this place. And we don't know about it like a bunch of chumps. Wow, there's some lag. I'm not sure who's blowing up what, but I don't think anyone's blowing up me. There we go. You're dead. Uh, let's use some superpowers, huh? Uh, you know what I don't think I've actually used yet? I don't think I've used lift. Lift looks like, uh, this one. Do this. Wow. <laughs> I do so love lift. Yeah, I should really upgrade that so I can hold people in the air for longer. It's hilarious. Hey, uh, what's everyone else's favorite biotic power? I don't know if you all played with them when you played through the game, but I imagine several of you have played through the game multiple times. It seems like a popular thing to do with the Mass Effect games. Uh, at least amongst people I know. Um, see, upstairs? Oh, no, just, just when I finally thought I knew what was up. Dude, you're so dead. You're so not alive. You're so not undead. Well, maybe you're undead. I haven't killed you yet. Maybe you'll get back up. What am I caught up? Oh, sorry, Tally. I shot you a lot. This thing is not friendly. Got you. One more? I think there's one more. I think we leveled up. We probably leveled up. Is everyone dead now? Someone came from over here. Maybe there's boxes. This looks very similar to where we had that quarry in party before. So I'm suspecting that the structure's probably at least similar, if not exactly the same. Eh. Alright, it's probably gonna be a little bit of a long episode, but I'm gonna search this place. Try and get the armor and any other stuff going on. You spooked me a little bit there, Rex. Is this an open box? Kinda looks like one, but I guess it's not. Uh, probably should upgrade Rex's assault rifle, because I feel like it's been a while. Um, cool, cool. Uh, oh, we got a bunch of stuff. Metagel. Yeah, sure, I'll use a metagel. I'll use another one, because apparently I don't have very good first aid. Oh, that'll take too long. I'm just going to med kit. Uh, what's in the upgrade kit? Proton and incendiary rounds. Yeah, I haven't actually noticed a big difference with the incendiary rounds, which is kind of what I was expecting. Um, whoa, a Unity Amp? It doesn't actually have anything to do with the Unity ability, does it? Wow, this box looks awesome. I'm super excited about this. Definitely gonna have to remember to save before doing something stupid and losing those. Like that one time I got that sweet thing and was super depressed about it. Uh, I got some of this junk I don't want. None of these are, like, open crates. Alright, let's do the wall safe. Do this. B A B X X B Babs Uh Rail Extension is okay. Incendiary round six. Woohoo! This is it. Oh. I can't believe my ancestors ever wore this piece of crap. But at least I've got it back. Yay! I'm glad we could help you get it back. I might just be starting to like you, Shepard. Aw, oh, you say that to all the people who help you ruthlessly murder a bunch of strangers, don't you? Yeah, actually, he probably does. <clears throat> Rex touches his grandfather's armor. His expression... thoughtful, perhaps. Krogan are hard to read. Then he shakes off his bemusement and grips his gun with renewed purpose. Time to move on. It's kind of ominous, almost like I was going to get attacked by more people. But I don't see more people on the radar. Anyway, we're probably just about done here. That's about the level of uh, engagement I was expecting after the Garrus mission, but before that I had expected these to be a little bit more significant. Anyway, we helped uh, our friend Rex achieve his goals and get back his ceremonial terrible armor. Just out of curiosity, can he wear the armor? Oh, good lord. I got a bunch of crap. Hang on. Thought I... Nah, I misread something. Okay. Uh, I got some Turian armor. I got a lot of Turian armor. Weird. Actually, we just killed a bunch of Turians, didn't we? I suppose that does make sense. Whatever, I'll take all this stuff. We'll deal with this between episodes. Uh, we did level up. That's cool. And I wanted to check uh, armor. Mm... Nope, nothing. All right, cool. Uh, this is probably a room. May or may not have stuff in it. Medical kit. I mean, can I do that thing I wanted to do before now? There it is. Haha. <laughs> Got Metagel. Did it. Crate. Uh, Stiletto's probably cool. Firestorm's probably not. Ooh, this one's a hard decryption. A, X, B, X, A. Oh, for some reason I almost did B, but I didn't screw that up. 
Uh, we got the Raptor, which I think is good. No, that's probably not right. Uh, I got some light armor that might be useful for one of our many humans. And a malfunctioning object with some crap in it. Great. Well, I guess that's what's causing it to malfunction, all the crap inside. Uh, I think that's probably just about everything for planet... What is this, Tuntau? I think this is Tuntau. Well, thank you for joining me here on Planet Tuntau. Hope you've had a good time. Uh, hope, hope that you appreciate the salvation of an artifact from Krogan culture. I mean, they're a dying race thanks to the genophage. And uh, I, I hope you had a good time this episode, and I hope I'll see you for the next one where we will continue to explore our side quest options and continue having a ton of fun. Meet you back on the Normandy for more of that thing I just said.